What's going down? It's your boy DJ Marcellus though back again with another video. Alright, we're here in the studio today. And you know, this is just a checkup video. I just want to say what's up, tell you the plans this year, and go on with it. But with that being said, happy 2022. You know, it's a good year. Hopefully, you know, COVID rates are going down. Things are starting to open back up. So it's looking good for the entertainment, DJ business, uh, and everybody out there. So let's, you know, let's give a round of applause to that. But let's, now we in war, so. Um, I don't know what to tell you about that partner. So, but let's get into it. 2021 was crazy, dog. Did a lot of events, um, rentals, school events, weddings. Drove back to Ohio a decent amount of times. Biggest thing, I moved down here to North Carolina now. Uh, almost about a year ago, I've been living here. Uh, moved down to North Carolina. Once I got down to North Carolina, though, I had to make a couple moves in North Carolina. But that was a whole mumble jumble of mess all last year. A lot of things going on, a lot of moving. So wasn't really uh, staying steady at some place for a while until I got my apartment that I'm in now. I got that uh, about midway through the year, but even then it was like still just a shit show of crazy events, day job, you know, we out here working. So I also had one wedding this year so far. It was a uh, pretty rusty at gig logging, but I'm gonna throw some clips of that in here now. Uh, we got a wedding today, and it's for Kip and Sabrina here at uh, All Mint Country Club in Burlington, North Carolina. We got uplight, monogram, and ceremony audio. So, alrighty, we're all changed up. We're gonna get started here shortly, but I am dehydrated, so I need to go find some water because I left my water bottle at Ricky's last night, babysitting his little puppy. So we'll be starting here soon. Um, it's about 207 right now. Got corn and Janelle back there. And recognized by the state of North Carolina and these the United States of America. I now pronounce you one together. You are now husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. We're done here. No computer problems. We killed it. Got Corn. He's my assistant, if you guys didn't know. And then we got Janelle. This Corn's woman friend. And then she our new photographer here over at FSL because Kevy Kevy get Kevy Kev left. So you know, no more Kevy Kev. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the little clips of the gig log. Uh wasn't too much, but I'm really trying to think about how I wanna go about the channel in a sort of sense of if I want to do gig logs continuously or if I just want to do like highlight films or something of my weddings because like I feel like gig logs is like the same thing over and over consistently consistently like you see Bar and Ricky um, doing it and it's kind of the same thing over and over and I feel like and I know they even feel the same way as like Y'all probably getting tired of seeing the same thing over and over. Like, it's the traditional, I'm gonna walk in, show you the setup. Probably the same setup I didn't had in 10 other videos. 
and then I'm going to play some music and show you dancing clips. But, you know, I, I feel like that kind of get boring. So I'm thinking about a different way of how to approach that as far as if I want to continue doing gear logs or what do I want to try to make new and trendy. Um, so yeah, that's that as far as the gig log. Another thing that went down earlier, I mean, we just got back this week actually of recording this video. Came back from MEX, it's a mobile beat and photo expo that kind of collab and made the mobile entertainment expo. Uh, it was my first time ever going, first time in Vegas. That was crazy. I had some, I'm gonna add some clips from Snapchat in here right now. <laughs> Gotta go in. But this store is though. Me and Hannah gonna have a little photo shoot with Auntie over there with the photos. Put your put your social media. Put your social media. Ginny Photo Co. It's at Ginny with an I photo dot co. <laughs> what up though? We got DJ A Rock with us. Oh you oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Athens, Ohio. That's right. I can't get away from you guys. <laughs> no, we just keep on coming back. We like leeches. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you all liked a little snippet of Vegas. Uh, Vegas was pretty dope, dog. I got to meet a lot of people there. I think that's the biggest thing about those conventions. Because in all honesty, the DJ side of the convention, was, like the presentation of booths, uh, the amount of booths for the DJ side, it was ridiculous. And then on the photo booth side, it was like nothing but 360 booths. So everything gets 360 booth. And I, I mean, it's the new wave, but literally every booth there was a 360 booth. As far as the event itself, I think the biggest thing about it is the connections and people you meet. Uh, like I got to meet Barr for the first time. Uh, he came to Athens one time, but I was a lazy son of a gun back then. So got to meet Barr for the first time. He's a real cool dude, uh, real humble too as well. And uh, got to meet a bunch of like the DMS crew, got to meet Michael over at Vibo. So got to meet a lot of people. So that was real cool. Got to actually connect with some people, follow some people, switch contacts, business cards, X, Y, and Z. So I think that's the biggest thing about those type of conventions, at least for this one. Um, I heard that the one in Atlantic City uh, is a little better, so we don't have to go to that one to see. But Vegas trip outside the expo is it was amazing, dog. It's so much to do in Vegas. If you ever been to Vegas, get the video a thumbs up, please. But uh, Vegas was dope. I, we went, first Monday night we got a VIP booth at Jules. Uh, us and like the whole DMS team, we all got wild. So I know y'all seen Ricky in some of those clips, that's what that was. Then we went to Gordon Ramsay's uh, Fish and Chips, that place smacked. Not too crazy expensive neither, so if you go to Vegas and you want to try a big name restaurant, definitely go to Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. Definitely enjoyed it. Uh, we went to a steakhouse. Steakhouses, in my opinion, um, are a little overrated. And I don't know if y'all agree with this, or maybe I just didn't go to a good steakhouse, but if I go to a, a, and it wasn't necessarily a steakhouse, it was just like a fine dining restaurant, but if I go to fine dining again, would I get a steak? Mm, debatable, because I mean, that steak tastes just as good as my Outback steak, and it was a $85 steak versus $25 steak, so yeah. We got a lot of events this year. Um, it's only the second m month of the year, and I'm pretty much booked up for the rest of the year. Uh, I got a few dates lying in there, um, so we're trying to get those filled up, and I'm thinking we're going to do it. Uh, we got a lot of connections as far as here in Greensboro now. Had a new venue hit me up earlier this week, talking about uh, we heard great things about you guys. We want you to come out. So I want to go out there and meet them, introduce myself. That's the biggest thing when trying to grow. I guess in a new state or just your business in general. If you could get in with a venue and get that venue to recommend you, uh, you're gonna be going up. Cause all these people, when they come to their venues, they're like, you got any recommended DJs? 
Because that's the people that people mostly don't know anything about. Uh, it's like they don't know who to go to for a wedding DJ. So the plans with the channel. I plan on putting a lot more production content out there. Uh, not only me and my music that I make, but the, how I made it. Maybe breakdowns or tutorials or little tricks that I've done. I started producing before I even started DJing. And, you know, that was my main passion uh, for high school. That's what I studied half of my day was production stuff. So, that's going to be a huge plan this year. Uh, I want to start maybe trying to incorporate some production or live looping inside of my DJ sets in the future. Uh, so, I've been practicing at the piano, trying to get good at that. Because uh, once I'm good at that, then I can start the live looping and practicing for that. And maybe offering it to uh, clients as a ceremony or a cocktail hour option for a live lupin musician. So uh, that's kind of the goal I'm going for with the music stuff now. As far as music, uh, I do plan on streaming as well. So kind of what you guys see on the YouTube channel and what I just talked about. I plan on doing live on streams and doing DJ sets and things like that. Maybe like a Sunday fun day set uh, starting at like noon because usually Sundays are my free days just about. Uh, but I think that would be pretty fun to get started here. And then, yeah, I mean, you never know. Uh, things always change, especially with the way the world is now. So we're going to try to make something happen and happen and see it happen. <laughs> But all right, show your boys some love. Give a like, comment, subscribe below. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything and uh, enjoy this new track I've been working on.